So here are my supplies for doing this build. Um, we've got the, the new cross guard, the old cross guard, and the old uh, aluminum butt cap that's all corroded up. We have some very thin micarta. I had some pomali. This is the local epoxy, two-part epoxy that I'm going to use. Uh, looking through my gear, I had an old horn, uh, two pieces of antler, and of course the blade itself. After a lot of back and forth, I have decided to go with this section of elk antler. Um, this one is okay. It's just, it's really thick and I'm going to have to grind quite a bit away. And I wasn't sure that I could grind it comfortably and not get into the marrow before it met up with the cross guard. So even though I love the crown on the bottom of this, um, that's going to have to go. I'm definitely not going to use aluminum around that steel again. And just... I've got issues with using the old gear now so that's got to go I have a cross guard elk antler micarta spacer uh, there will be two or three sections of micarta that's going to be put on this one up here between the blade itself and the cross guard that's going to be filled with epoxy it's going to be one of the first things that i do to make that nice and secure a second one on this end of the uh, elk antler and then that's going to be smoothed down to make it nice and flush with the cross guard. The last section will go on the back here and will be pinned on and shaped. Uh, I will be cutting the tang on this. There's This is the last stop for this blade and uh, the main goal is to put it in something secure that it will not rust and uh, I'll be using a either a vinegar or a coke solution to neutralize all of the rust that's going on there maybe stop the process hopefully and then grinding it down so where it's clear clean metal um, I kicked around the idea of using some of the buffalo horn uh, as spacers and stuff like that but ended up I want to go with the least amount of organic that I can except for the antler uh, this is going to be oversized drilled out and filled completely with the epoxy uh, I also kicked around about kicked around using the primali but it is so difficult to grind that, especially with the tools that I have. And I'm not sure that's going to look that good underneath the guard. So, here we have it, guys. Here's all the parts to, that I'm going to use to rebuild the Randall. Let's get to it.
Here's where we're at. The micarta has been epoxied to both ends of the elk antler. And um, if you guys have one of those little handheld sanders that use these little belts, um, if you live somewhere like I do where you can't always get what you're looking for, <laughs> uh, I found that these belts here are the same length. And so, buy one and trim to fit. Pretty cheap that way, and these are good quality. Just another option. All right, so I used the glue, and it's just the uh, wood glue. It's nothing permanent. But I'm using that all along the edge here so that once it's dry I can scratch into the micarta nice and deep and know where my inside diameter and uh, outside diameter is going to be and I've got it lined up but all the excess there towards the top is going to have to come down and fit the guard exact
so I just got through filing all this out and it's just a bit small at this point it's too small to actually fit the tang in which is where I want it because I don't know how much of this rust and gunk I'm gonna to have to remove so I don't want to end up making it too big by accident <laughs> 